So in this video, I want to talk about why I think the New York Yankees trading for Ronald Acuna Jr. of the Atlanta Braves makes perfect sense for the 2023 MLB season. As always, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section of this video, and let's get right into it. So the first reason why I think a Ronald Acuna Jr. New York Yankees trade makes perfect sense for 2023 is pretty simple, it's pretty bland, but that Ronald Acuna Jr. is an amazing young player. And players like this are not always available on the trade market, so if there is, any chance that Ronald Acuna Jr. is in fact on the trade market or the Braves would entertain trade offers, I think the Yankees should be all over this. Although it has been reported that, you know, the trade rumors of Ronald Acuna Jr. aren't exactly true. Where there's smoke, there's usually some fire and this could lead to something down the road. Now, Ronald Acuna Jr., um, in regards to a stats perspective, had a down year in 2022, but it's still a pretty impressive year um, for most major league players. Uh, but for Ronald Acuna Jr. and his MLB career, I would say it is a down move, or sorry, it is a down year uh, compared to the rest of his career. Now in 2022, uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. had a 2.8 war, 124 hits, 15 home runs, 266 average, 50 uh, RBIs, 29 stolen bases, so nice speed element there, um, 351 on base, 413 slugging, uh, 764 OPS, and an OPS plus of 114. So overall, um, pretty solid numbers, was of course the rookie of the year uh, back in 2018, um, three-time All-Star, two-time Silver Slug. Um, a tremendous, tremendous player, just a bit of a down year for his standards in 2023, or sorry, in, 2020, uh, in 2022. Now, I know the Braves don't want to shop Ronald Acuna Jr. because he's a tremendous player, just 25 years old, doesn't really make a lot of sense to trade him, but there has been some speculation of him not being happy with his contract and him wanting a big time contract extension. The only thing is Ronald Acuna Jr. signed a pretty big time deal um, all the way back and I want to say 2019 uh, for eight years at $100 million. So so, uh, you know, $12.5 million per year for this player is an absolute steal. Now, uh, when he does become a free agent uh, in 2027, I would suspect that he'll be cashing in on a long-term contract, um, getting probably north of $300 million. But if you're the Yankees, you worry about that down the road. Um, your team that's looking to win now, but also looking to win down the road. I think Ronald Acuna Jr. accomplishes both of those for the Yankees um, and would be a tremendous young player for them to get for the 2023 season and beyond. Now, the second reason on why I think this trade makes perfect sense for the Yankees, I sort of touched on this a little bit you know not too long ago but he's under contract for a long time and he's not going to be needing a big time extension until the 2027 MLB offseason as I mentioned before um, Ronald Acuna Jr. in 2019 signed an eight-year contract for a hundred million uh, for a hundred million dollars which is twelve and a half million dollars per year in today's day and age that's an absolute steal of a contract now that's the problem with these international players signing contracts so early Oftentimes, teams want to sign these guys to long terms, maybe knocking down their AAV a little bit and hoping that they can outperform that down the road. And this has been the case for Ronald Acuna Jr., which is why he's a little bit unhappy with his contract situation uh, right now with the Braves, because obviously nowadays he's worth a lot more um, than what he's being paid. So uh, if you're the New York Yankees and your team that's a little bit strapped in regards to cap space uh, and just financials, I think acquiring a player just making $12.5 million is pretty easy to manage um, until 2027, especially a player of Ronald Acuna Jr.'s caliber. Um, this is an absolute steal of a contract. So uh, you'd have to move out a little bit of money to make this work, but it's not going to be a huge amount because he is only making 20 or sorry 12.5 million dollars a season uh for the next you know four or five years so uh, i really think at this point um ronald acuna jr at 12.5 is an absolute steal financially uh, and this would be an awesome move for the yankees to make without having to give up uh, too much salary in return now the third and final reason is from a positional standpoint is that the yankees are looking for a left fielder and ronald acuna jr could be that missing piece so uh, in 2023 as it stands right now there's not really a nice option in starting left field for the Yankees as it stands as of the recording of this video. Um, I think in a perfect world, the Yankees would acquire a player like Brian Reynolds of the Pittsburgh Pirates, maybe explore the trade market for some other players sort of around that caliber. Uh, but Ronald Acuna, uh, Ronald Acuna Jr., in my, uh, in my perspective, is that exact player. He would check a lot of boxes, especially defensively. You can throw him into left field. Um, he's a speed threat on the base pass, a player that can get on base and just be a difference maker. Um, Ronald Acuna Jr. of the Atlanta Braves checks all of those boxes. So uh, by getting a player of his caliber or someone like Brian Reynolds caliber, uh, I think that would be a ginormous win uh, for the New York Yankees this off season and would make a ton of sense for the 2023 year and beyond. So that's gonna be it for this video. Just wanted to talk about um, a few reasons why I think the New York Yankees trading for Ronald Acuna Jr. makes perfect sense for 2023. Leave your thoughts down below. Um, comment what you guys think. 
um, a Yankees trade for Ronald Acuna Jr. would even look like. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.